Hello and welcome back to another edition of Mr. Anderson boring you with algebra tiles and equation maps. Oh, I hope it's not boring even though I'm kind of figuring it probably is. Anyways, let's go through what we got. Take a look at letter A up here. This one right here. Notice all this stuff we've got going on. If you solve that, which means we cancel this one, we cancel this one, that cancels that, that cancels that, blah, blah, blah. You get an answer for that one, for that side, come on, there we go, of negative 3. This one simplifies to negative 3. If you don't believe me, do it. This side here, these two cancel here, and then these two cancel, and these two cancel, leaving you with a grand result on that side of 0. If we compare which is greater, well, we see that 0 is actually greater than negative 3. Let's take a look at the next one over here. In fact, we're going to build this one on the equation mat after a moment. If you were to build this on the equation mat, you've got minus a negative 2x, uh, that's positive 2x plus x, that's 3x. We've got minus 1 and a positive 1, so the only thing left on that side of the equation mat is 3x. On this side, we've got minus a negative 4, that's actually plus 4. I've got 3 plus negative 1, which is 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. Well, what happened to the x's? Well, here I had a positive x. Here I had the opposite of positive x is negative x. x and negative x, so they cancel. So I've got 3x and 6. Hmm, which is greater? Remember yesterday I told you we can't tell, and that's true. We can't tell which is greater. But what we're going to be using today is to solve equations. So I've got my 3x's on that side. I've got my 6 over here. Oh, give me a second to get this done. Wouldn't it be nice if Mr. Anderson had faster fingers to do this? But he doesn't. There you go. So 3x on the left side. I've got 6 on the right side. You might notice that I put these neatly to where this x combines with these two. This x combines with those two. And this x combines with those two. So think about it. Since I have three x's over here and I've got 6 over here, what number does three at this 3 and 6 have in common? You should be thinking 3. If I divided both of these sides by 3's, to take care of those, to take care of those, 3 divided by 3 is 1x left over, 6 divided by 3 is 2, so we know that x equals 2. I know it's just magical, you're amazed right now. Let's try another one. Come on computer, keep up with me. Yes, this would happen even if I was teaching in class. Computers don't like to keep up with me. There we go. All right. Let's set up the equation mat right up here from letter A. Okay. We've got, when I take these negative x's right here and bring those to the top side, they go from being negatives to being, that's right, positives. Come on, all the way over there. One. Two. Three positives. Oh, they don't have to work very well with me. These two here cancel. When I move that positive to the top, it becomes a negative. So I've got 2x minus 2. This one here, when I move this x to the top, it becomes a positive x. When I take these two and cancel those out, I'm just left with four positives on the top. 1, 2, 3, Four. All right, let's continue solving this equation. We know that if I have an x on the top over here and an x on the top over there, these two can combine and will cancel each other out. So those are gone. I have all my x's on one side. That's really cool. Now it would be really cool if I had all my numbers on the other side so I could solve for what x equals. Well, how can I move these to this side? Remember, whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. So how can I cancel two negatives? Oh, you're very bright. I should add two positives. So if I add two positives to the left side, then doggone it, I better add two positives to the right side 
like so. Let's make that nice and neat and orderly. These two here cancel, so let's get rid of them. Adios, amigos. Sayonara. I think that's how you say it, but I don't know. Anyways, on the left side, I've got two X's left over. On the right side, I've got six. If I divide both sides by two, then this one and these three go away. And I'm left simply with X equals three. I know what you're thinking. Mr. Anderson, you are a genius. All right. Now that we have that all settled down, will you please do letter B right there? Make sure you know, ah, you know what, forget that. We'll do letter B in class tomorrow. Let's move on and do number 76. Oh, computer, there we go. Let's do a couple of these together. All right, let's do A and B together. Letter A, woohoo, 3X. That's one. Where the heck did that go? Let's try that again. One, two, three, minus seven of these things. Oh boy, oh boy, you get to watch me do this for a while. There's three, and four, and five, and six, and finally seven. And I've got a positive two on the side. Uno. Dose. All right. Hey, I got good news. We have all of our X's on one side. That's very cool. The only thing I can do is move my numbers to the other side. So if I add, in order to get rid of the negative 7, I've got to add 7 to this side. If I add 7 here, I must add 7 here. The 7 that I add over here will cancel all these. I'm sure you were able to figure that out, and that made total sense to you. So I'm adding 7 to this side, which will cancel these. And then I've got to go ahead and do my little adding of 7 over here. Let's just reposition these. <clears throat> so we'll add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'm sure you saw that all work out very neatly. Yes, there's three X's, there's nine here, they both have a three in common, we divide by three, so we know that X will equal three. Very good. I said we'd do one more. All right, so I don't lie to you, let's do one more. We'll do letter B. Let's see, we've got two positive X's on the left side from right here, but we also have a negative X on this side. On this side over here, I've got one positive X here. Oh, I've got another positive X here. I've got a positive one that goes on the left side, and I've got oop, negative five, so let's get rid of some of these. <laughs> All right, you probably realized about three, four days ago I told you I wouldn't whistle then because I wouldn't hurt your eardrums, sorry, today. I'm willing to hurt your eardrums tonight. So, it's either today for some of you, tonight for some of you, whatever. All right, so there I've got my x minus five plus x. Over here I've got my two x, or I'm sorry, my one plus two x minus x. So let's start doing our canceling. These two, the x and the negative x cancel. Say goodbye to them. Over here, my x's don't cancel, but side to side, my x on this side, my x on this side will cancel each other. I'm sure you all saw that, you knew that. So I've got this. In order to get these five negatives to be on this side, I've got to do the opposite or add five to this side. So I've got to add five to that side. So we're going to just get rid of these five. And by adding five to this side, I've got to also add five to the other side. Here comes the whistle. One. Two, three, I know what you're thinking, but well, you're not whistling. Psych! Four, whoa! Whoa, phew, five. Since there's only one X, and there's a grand total of six over here, you should know for letter B, X equals six. All right, 
you in class tomorrow are going to do C, D, E, and F. So, if you want to get a head start on tomorrow, guess what you could do? C, D, E, and F. Hey, have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.